I am, a ghost named seldom seen. I mastered the ability to ignore phony people and telephone rings at an early age. I am Horace Tapscott and Billy Higgins round about midnight at the world stage, trying to explain a love supreme to a band that's been infiltrated by the powers that be. Uh, I shop work, I style free, I attract all manners of divine yeses, so eventually ain't won't nobody know me. I am Jimmy Baldwin. Nobody knows my name. I am Sun Ra, third eye, marching jam session through the streets of Harlem on the way back home from a gig, yo dig. This level of righteous sincerity can only be lived by those who have become comfortable with silence. I am a spirit named seldom seen. My scene is the quietest side of the temple archives. You will recall back in grammar school roll call when so many children were just here, but a few of us, we, we were present. We hyperactive listeners, we overhear minus the ear hustle, we muscle our way into our own subconscious, we're comfortable with the idea of poems taking multi-year gestation periods. Writer's block is just a myth perpetuated by the impatient with the patience of outpatients while we believe in the poem taking as much time as it requires to itself, to write itself before we even endeavor. I am a ghost named seldom seen I, I show up on the scene with all types of invisible flashy chains and rings. I am D the schizophrenic. I have no ego. I cannot be motivated by controversy or gossip. I'm an aberration. I can only be seen through the mind's eye. I do not reality show. I used to catch a flight every three and a half days, used to sit and listen to poets at least four times a week. I've studied the parameters of my art form. I am comfortable in the space from whence I speak. I used to channel Thelonious Monk when I had to strike chords to eat, but now when young poets ask me for advice, I tell them to consistently figure out what you emphatically care about, then continuously dig deep, baby. Dig deep. I am a ghost named seldom seen. And you liable to hear all types of crazy and strange things about my past. And you should always feel free to ask. But the short story about my dark ways is how I followed the long path to enlightenment. Now, I reside in a brick church with no windows and stainless glass floors, with plenty of open archways where some choose to project their own doors. And who am I to talk? I mean, I know all about it, and I still have to work on not projecting mine. Talam, Gichi Don, effortless to connect with, but damn near impossible to find. My head is in the clouds, and my body's in the wind, and my spirit is to help you manifest your own until I'm seldom seen again.